cow. Guys, we are at an amusement park. Told you guys I would surprise you. This is huge. We are at Cedar Frickin' Point today. Oh my God, it's Sean's first time. <laughs> this is gonna be sick. We've been talking about going here together for actually years. It has been years, hasn't it? Yeah, it really has. This is gonna be an absolutely incredible day. I'm gonna get the elephant in the room out of the way. Top Thrill Trackster is not open. It is one of my like all-time favorites, but I still think this park has the best coaster lineup in the world without Dragster. It's still absolutely worth coming, obviously. So we're getting here just at open. There's so many coasters for you to be getting on. I don't even know like where to begin. You can't go wrong starting at any of these rides. I mean, I want to go to Millennium Force. I want to go to Maverick. I want to go to Vengeance. I don't know what to do. I'm so stoked. But yeah, you have to admit the skyline is very imposing. Yeah, it definitely is imposing. You can see it from way out. Yeah, you can. Yeah, this is going to be epic, guys. So join us today from Cedar Point, America's Rock and Roller Coast here in Sandusky, Ohio. I cannot wait to get back to one of my all-time favorite amusement parks. This is the most imposing RMC and no one can change my mind. This thing is so long. Oh my God. Oh my gosh. We did it. We, oh God, my voice. We did Steel Vengeance. We did it in the back row. Obviously that's gonna warm up. And like that's been the case all my visits to Cedar Point. The first ride is just not as good as like the evening rides. However, for a morning ride that is running really, really strong. And the best part, no trims. I'm so happy about no trims. No trims. My streak of riding this without any trims continues. It's so cool. No trim breaks. Everyone is telling me like, if you do it with trims, it'll probably fall down your rankings. I'm, I'm definitely like leaving it where it is for now. Yeah, like I, I'm so excited to ride that later in the day, but I mean, that's fine. That's just airtime, 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 airtime. Is it my favorite RMC? I'm gonna leave that to be determined. That's Until... totally fair. Zodra's a great ride too. Yeah, I love the rustic look. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's intentionally rustic. One of the most incredible looking coasters in the world, in my opinion. It's so stunning. in the world. <laughs> God, uh, he got the authentic Cedar Point experience and swallowed a bug on Millennium Fork. <laughs> but the, oh my God, that ride is unbelievable in the front. It is the craziest sense of speed ever. Oh my God. That's actually the tallest and fastest coaster you've ever been on. And you can feel it. Maybe. You can feel it. Wow. I mean, that was definitely a great ride. 
It was fast, it was tall, <laughs> very tall. That view, oh, talk about that view. I like, okay. okay, the view is pretty epic. But I like the currently better than Steel Vengeance right now. But front I, row on this is better than front row on Steel Vengeance for sure. I mean, I'm just taking it one ride at a time. And hey, I know the RMC is the warm up touch. Yeah, every RMC we've ever done you think, like always warms up. No, but like ev there's people that think that this is the better ride. So, I mean, I don't, I wouldn't give you crap for it, but I mean, for me, absolutely not. That was definitely fun though. I mean, you know, to be able to swallow bugs <laughs> is definitely a moment. Yeah, know? I remember my first time coming to Cedar Point in 2019. I swallowed two bugs that visit. I don't think I've ever experienced that before. You know, it's been years, <laughs> you know? Yeah. I don't really, I don't know. It's an incredible ro roller coaster. One of the best in the world, in my opinion. Millennium Forks. It's just, it's one of those rides, some people will argue is dated and, and doesn't quite stack up to some of these newer giant roller coasters, but in my opinion, there's something about that ride. It's just so amazing, honestly. I also really appreciated the fact that I could film because on Steel Vengeance, you have the metal detectors, which made it a lot more difficult. So I'm so glad I was able to do that for you guys. That was an ama amazing ride. I mean, truly world class. Up next, I'm gonna try to get Sean on Maverick, and I have a good feeling that this, will, this could end up being his favorite coaster in the park. I mean, he's enjoyed both very much so far, but knowing how much he loves Velocicoaster, that's his number one coaster. Maverick is kind of like the predecessor to Velocicoaster, so I'm pretty sure you're gonna love this ride, and it might even be your favorite in the park. Let's go, Millennium Forest. Oh my god! Oh my god! Maverick is incredible. How was that? I think that was an awesome ride. So whippy, so intense. It's like everything you want in a coaster at a 105 foot tall height. It's nothing. Obviously, have to pay my respects to Top Thrill Drags while I'm here. I miss this ride to death. It is so, so good. It's always been my second favorite in the park, just behind Steel Vengeance. I love this ride. And I really hope that when it returns next year, it's just as good, if not better, because it really does deserve that fate. Absolutely an icon for the park. The first 400 foot coaster in the world. All right, so now we're walking over into the boardwalk section of the park. It's a new area the park just got, as well as this new spinning wild mouse that actually pays homage to their original wild mouse that they had decades ago. So it's really cool to see them do that. I know this park takes great pride in its history. It actually looks like a really fun family coaster. So I do look forward to experiencing that at some point today. But the reason we're in the boardwalk right now is to go to the new Grand Pavilion restaurant. Wow, the food here actually looks really good. Look at this sandwich. Rotisserie turkey and pesto. So lots of meats over here that look really wonderful. Yes, yeah, it's a really nice building too. I'm a huge fan of this addition. This is wonderful. Great views of the water here. And like, the food looks really good. Sean got a sandwich with a bunch of stuff. Tomato, feta cheese. I got uh, turkey breast with pesto and, you know, fried rice. Yeah, it looks great. The food quality seems really good. It smells amazing. And um, yeah, I love this outside eating option just overlooking the water. It's really wonderful. And also cool is that they serve it on a newspaper from like 1905, um, Sandusky, Ohio News, Cedar Point. It's so cool. This is a really wonderful addition. Extremely impressed by that restaurant. It was a great addition to the park. Up next is Gatekeeper. Looks like it has a pretty short wait, which is great. Can't wait to get on this ride. I actually really, really, really enjoy this. I think it's definitely overhated. It's not at all a weak b and wing coaster. It's really good. All 
All right, guys, we are on Gatekeeper Park's B&M Wing Blister. This is a great ride. I'm really excited to get on this again. It's been a long time since I've been on Gatekeeper. All righty, here we go. Yeah, we're high up here. Here we are. Oh, my God. That's a great ride. Little helix into the brakes. Whoa! It's a great wing coaster, it really is. I love that drop too, that, that wing over drop is ginormous. Yeah. How does that compare to Thunderbird for you? That was really fun. I'm not really sure. I think I like Thunderbird better. I think so too. I like the launch a lot. Yeah. This is a great layout though. It's a good ride. Yeah. All right, we just got off of Gatekeeper, which is often a forgotten ride at this park, but it's actually a great coaster. I really like it. It's not my favorite wing coaster, but it is up there towards the top. It's really a fun ride, and I love all the different elements. I love the key, the keyholes, uh, the near misses are really cool. I love the wing over drop, particularly on this ride because of just the size of it. It's just a massive B and M. I think up next we're gonna head to Raptor. That park's B and M. Remember, I haven't done this one since 2019. So of all the coasters we've done so far today, I've actually done them as recent as 2020. But Raptor, I haven't done since 2019. It's been a long time, four years. So yeah, I can't wait to get on that again. How'd you like Gatekeeper? I thought it was great. I'm losing my voice again, aren't I? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, that's what screaming at Cedar Point does to you. I warned you guys. I'm losing my voice and the lift is loud, so I'm trying not to talk. All right, let's get it. Raptor, let's do it. Let's go, Raptor. Whoa! is intense as heck. For a coaster that opened in 1994, it's still smooth, it's still forceful. That was fun. That was good. It's a good filler ride for the park for sure. Holy crap. I forgot how intense Raptor was. Oh my God. There were multiple moments where I grayed out a little bit and that thing is so whippy. Oh my gosh. If you ask me, that's one of the most intense being of inverts after all these years. It's also just a beautiful ride. I love the green on green. I think next what I'm going to try to do is get on that wild mouse coaster that they just opened. It actually looks like a pretty fun ride. The wait might be a little bit long, but that's okay. We've gone on all the big three coasters. We got on two really good supporting coasters. After the Wild Mouse, then I think we'll probably try to do a re-ride on one of the big three or maybe multiple of them. Is this going on the YouTube channel? Hell yeah. <laughs> what the hell is scared? That scared me so bad. Whoa! It's actually spinning a lot more. Spinning so 
Oh my god! 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 Oh my We just did Steel Vengeance again in the back. It's warmed up a little bit. Yes, and this is one of the shorter weights in the park. I'm so surprised. Yeah, that wasn't long at all. That wasn't bad. I'll we should definitely do that again later yeah, a couple more times. We should definitely do that again. That was fun. That was fun. That was great. Like, I... And no bugs. Yeah, no bugs this time. But I was just talking about how I, like, think this is one of the most, like, just pure fun roller coasters in the world. Like, I could ride this all day and I would never get bored. And the trims are... We, we got, like, one tap that time, but, like... Other than that, it's it's trimless, and the ride is running amazing right now. So I'm super stoked about that, and it's only gonna get faster from here, so yeah. And also, if you've noticed, my voice has gotten a lot better too, which is great. I just ran into a bunch of fans of the channel. What's up, guys? Hi. In line for Maverick, let's freaking go. We're ready. Have any of you been on Maverick? I am not. Yes. I have only yeah. am. This is my third, this is my first time at it before. <laughs> He used to be watching my vlogs in line, guys. Since day one. All right, so my GoPro is going to die soon, so I'm going to quickly wrap up this vlog. As you can see, my voice is kind of in disrepair again from all the screaming today. But it was an absolutely incredible day. I'm really grateful for my brother for having driven us all the way out here. It was a long extra drive to come out to Cedar Point this trip, but I'm so glad we made the effort because it was absolutely worth it. We didn't get a ton of rides in. The park was definitely pretty busy as it tends to be in the summer. And usually when I come here, I get fast lane plus to skip all the lines for the most part. And you know, that's really helpful. But because this was such a spontaneous visit, I didn't have the chance to do that and look into that. But nevertheless, it's okay. I mean, we still got on the major coasters that you know were open, not Dragster, but everything else. My GoPro is basically about to completely die, so I don't even have time to really wrap up my thoughts on the rides, but they were all amazing. I had a really amazing time today, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tomorrow we will be at a new amusement park, Six Flags Great America, which I cannot wait for, so I will see you guys then. Thank you all so much for watching once again. Bye, guys.